hello guys welcome once again this is a short video in which we are just going to take a look on important widgets and some important properties from here so let's get started first of all we have on widgets uh, you know plain text view and the large text and the medium text that you are familiar with that we have used in our previous video uh, it is nothing but just a type of text you will drag it and whatever you will write it will appear here on your layout <coughs> okay so the button is the button and you are familiar with that and the small button is a little bit smaller than that okay so this is a kind of push button widget when you hover over it you will find it and the next is the radio button where you have to you know make one choice or two choice then you can use your radio button and check box where you want to make one or more than one choices you are familiar with that pretty well so <coughs> the next widget is switch so this is a kind of a two uh, state toggle switch and that is a widget that we'll be discussing uh, in our upcoming videos so toggle button image button image view so these are the simple uh, widgets that we are going to be using and you can also add rating bars in your app and the progress bars you are familiar with that the percentage that uh, you know usually come up uh, with it's with the start of a game or with something okay so you can also view your app as a web view web view how it looks like in a uh, website view you can say so these all are the text fields that you can use for time date for email for passwords for numbers or for some other uh, random text fields these are all the containers that you can use okay within that it could be scroll view it could be horizontal scroll view it could be gallery or it could be anything and the next is date and time all the types of calendar all the types of clocks you know you have it here and you can use it wherever you want okay <coughs> and the last part of the widget is you know uh, like this you have uh, you know these all things this is an advanced level thing that you will have and uh, you know once you're done with all other widgets basic widgets you have this advanced uh, you know widget set up when you will become an expert you will use them and for sure in our upcoming course we will use that okay so now let's come to the properties and uh, I will give you a demo a little bit demo with property let's say we want to drag a button here so we drag it out okay so let's say we name it as uh, its new button and let's keep it that way and this is new button okay so now we have its properties right here okay so if you have you know uh, noticed that why this new button is appearing uh, you know full uh, fully why it is adjusting uh, this text with the size of the button okay uh, if you remember my C sharp videos uh, in C sharp if you you know write the longer text uh, it would minimize the text and the button size remains the same but in Android it is different it is not like that uh, if you change the text the button size automatically adjusts itself okay button you can see that the size gets adjusted itself right so now once again new button okay so you will see that the size changes and why is that so because of these uh, some properties here so here you can see that layout width because width and height of layout has been set as wrap content so if you see that this is the you know width and uh, whatever whatever the size of the text and whatever the height of the text this button or this widget size will automatically will automatically adjust itself according to the you know text all right so let's uh, say if i change this like uh, uh, match parent 
you can see that it is matching the parent and it is actually a kind of you know taking the whole place in the width section right so the parent is the layout and it is now you can see that uh, in the matter of width it is taking the complete position or the complete size of the layout all right so let's get to the next thing and that is the layout height so if we change it to match uh, parent or fill parent so let's say first match parent so you can see that it has taken all the size of the parent you know the layout okay with respect to the height uh, this is the starting point so you might say that why isn't that covering this part so this is the starting point actually so if you take this button here you can see that it is now covering the whole layout okay so it depends it also depends upon the size uh, you know starting point right so now uh, let's go to the next thing and that is a fill parent so it will also uh, have the same effect as the match parent has okay so we'll change to the wrap content so that uh, we'll be having you know <coughs> sorry we'll be having this kind of button here but you can see that now with the help of uh, you know this wrap content uh, thing wrap content uh, property we have come to know about this so after this uh, wrap content property now we have we know how this uh, thing works with the widgets okay so now coming to the next properties and that is the layout margin and you can uh, change the layout margin uh, to the whatever to whatever rate you want so in my case you can see the top is 78 dp and that actually shows the dp rate of uh, your layout so likewise if you uh, write here 480 dp uh, this layout will be seen in a different way maybe the widgets inside become smaller and smaller and smaller like you are viewing it from a way to you know uh, way for from far or you are watching it or you are viewing it from uh, way to near okay so you are either watching it from very near the widgets on the layout or you are watching it from very far uh, this depends upon this DP function either you uh, you know use the high value or you use the low values you will not come to know about that because uh, layout is white and uh, without using widgets you will not you know uh, know this uh, reason of that so let's try it out this is 78 DP so let's change it to 780 dp and you will immediately realize the difference between that that the button has got smaller and smaller and it just disappears right so let's change it back to the 78 dp and you have the button here so i will change it to 100 so that uh, you can realize and see it clearly you can see 100 and the position of the button has been changed slightly not you know completely so let's change it back to the 78 all right okay so the next property uh, that is a line end so this is not important literally a little bit uh, a line component and that is related to the aligning of the compon components and you can uh, set whatever you want but uh, for that the main condition is that we have been using a component or not okay okay so now this thing comes and that is related to the aligning of the uh, parent and that is our parent is layout basically right so if we choose this bottom you can see that uh, our widget has covered the bottom of the parent so same like that if you click on the right you know 
it is uh, referring to the right so that uh, it has covered it so if you click on missing and all that widgets th these are related to the covering of the parent with the widget and you will uh, learn about it when you will work with that basically from the align parent uh, you should come to know about that because our in our case parent is layout okay so this is central parent and these are some basic uh, uh, things and that is the background tint clickable you know very well because we have uh, used some kind of function in our previous video and that was you know uh, referring to the button right so this is the foreground gravity and that is basically hint hint could be anything that uh, whatever you want okay so hint is useful in uh, the text fields so when you will run your text field uh, it will come like a placeholder if you are familiar with the web sites or something like that uh, this hint will come inside the play uh, inside the text box as a hint you know as a placeholder uh, if you are familiar with the web terms in web terms in website terms we say it uh, placeholder so it doesn't actually you know it doesn't appear actually a writ in written form in uh, the text field but it appears as a transparent form uh, in the text field as a hint that what we are supposed to write in the text field you can say that you can uh, give it as a hint okay so that was it and uh, this was the on click that is for button and if we have any functions we can assign to that or refer to that and you know very well this is padding text color text style and uh, this is the visibility of the widget if you want to make your visit uh, widget visible then you need to select this if you want to make it invisible you can see that your button or your widget becomes invisible and uh, you know when you will select on it will be gone so i'll select unset okay so width that that is it this is something else that uh, you don't want to know yet but we'll work with that it with it in our coming videos so i hope you have enjoyed today's video and you have you know seen to the properties and to some widgets so thanks for watching, please rate, comment, subscribe, bye for now.